doing? What, you said sweep the house. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. This is Is It Bulletproof? I'm going to test if random things you ask me to or things I just wonder. Are they bulletproof? Today's video subject is cinder blocks. Are they bulletproof? Probably not. But I think a stack of them might have a chance. So let's head out and give that a test. Alright guys, we're out here ready to shoot. I got uh, six cinder blocks lined up. I got more if needed. Uh, we'll see how many bullets they can block. I got my little mic set up, camp my computer. I'm gonna move this back down there with my blanket where I'll be laying. And then I have my tripod with a camera to see what I'm shooting for you. I need a better camera. You saw I got set up with guys. Let's do this. All right guys, my first round, I'm gonna give it a uh, subsonic 22. That's a little bit smaller than your standard 22. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a chance with this first shot. And I'm shooting it out of this little 22 Cricket. It's one of the first guns I ever shot when I was a little kid. And I think one of my first guns should be one of my first videos, right? Alright, so let's see how she does. Alright, let's check it out. Benefit of the doubt, it didn't even go through. Look at that, a big dent in it. No going through at all. Alrighty, guess we have to go up a bit. Alrighty, for the next round, I'm gonna have to jump up to a uh, 22 long rifle. Let's see if this one goes through. I think it might. I don't think it did. I mean, it just has a bigger dent now. Well, it didn't go through either. I got taken up a notch. And now my next round is going to be a 9mm Luger full metal jacket from my Beretta 92FS. You know I just realized? I've never shot a handgun laying down. This is going to be very strange for me. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I got some dust in there. Yeah, I got one hole. Didn't make it through the first cinder block though. This cinder blocks are a lot tougher than I thought they'd be. All right, we're kicking up a notch to my 45 ACP for my jacket out of a Ruger P97. Let's see how she does. Same result, just a bigger hole. Went through, but not through the other side. Though, if you can actually see in there, I don't know if it'll focus in there. There's a bigger exit wound on the other side of that con concrete there. Alrighty, I went back there and I moved that one center block that was in the front to the back. So any more accurate result on this. I'm kicking up to a rifle round. Uh, 5.56 five, out of my Bushmaster Predator AR. 
so it shows any better. This is a rifle round and it's made for penetration. Let's see how I do. Alright, let's see how she did. Well, I had to bring my equipment over here to show you myself, drag the table, but it went through the front end, it came out the back, destroyed the rear end of the cinder block, the second one's untouched, not a scratch on it. So if I guess if you're having behind two cinder blocks, you're safe for most rounds, but I might have kicked this up a notch, alright? Okay guys, those results weren't quite as satisfying as I wanted them to be. So I went inside and got my Remington 7mm Magnum. And here's the round for it. That's your 5.56 we just shot. And this is your Remington 7mm Magnum we're gonna shoot. And this here has what we call a suicide scope with no rubber protection. So to be honest with you, she kind of scares me. But I'm a man, so let's do this. Alrighty. Really hope this don't hurt as bad as I think it's going to. Oh yeah. It helps if you cock it, right? Alrighty. That will hurt a little bit. Okay, so we're back over here on uh, the cinder blocks. And this is a lot more damage. You can see I kind of blew the whole side of this off. Get in there. That's one cinder block. Went into the second one. Busted out the back. Alright, so it will go through two. Didn't even scratch the third one. I wonder if I can find that bullet in here anywhere. Give me a second, see if I can find this thing. Well, I'm out here and I just uh, kept looking. All I could find so far were a couple of pieces of the nettle jacket that was on it. No bullets. Wait a minute, what's up there? Oh, there's more. There. Oh, there's some actual lead in there too. That's the jacket with a little bit of the bullet in there. Oh, yeah, that's more. I just not shit. I should look harder than I did, I guess. But, and yeah, I guess the center block just exploded the bullet in the pieces as it went through, which. I get that's pretty much how body armor works. You get the tiles that break it up, then his metal would catch it. Didn't have any metal to catch it, but the center blocks worked a similar to tile and just broke the bullet up as it went through. I've been very impressed. Uh, three cinder blocks seems like magic number up to a uh, 7mm magnum. So I think you'd be, if you have a building three cinder blocks thick, you'd be pretty safe. Unless someone brings out, you know, maybe a 50 BMG. No, I'm kidding. I'm not Demolition Ranch. I don't own a 50 BMG, but I'd love to. All right, I'm going to go back inside. Set this up. All right, that surprised me a ton. I was not expecting that. I was expecting the concrete blocks to go everywhere. But they held up a lot more than I thought. If that surprised you, let me know down in the comments. And uh, comment anything else you want me to shoot and test out. And just remember, if you're making a survivor bunker, at least three use in the box. Minimum. Uh, leave me a like if you like this video. And subscribe if you want to see more of me. Alright?